So what you're describing is whatever frequency you got going on, whatever pattern is emanating from you most recently, really does equal your point of attraction. And you just don't have access to thoughts that are different from that very much, do you? Yeah. So the, the solution is, and, and it's fairly recently that we've been speaking it, just try to get general in your conversation about not being where you want to be. And there's something really diffusing about the generality that lets it shift. Want to talk about something specific? I've picked up a pattern recently around people. Um, I don't know why I used to be really outgoing and really out there and something happened in the last two or three years and I keep creating the same story. Great example, I, I just came back from a um, three month backpacking trip and it was a great experience because I'd go to a different hostel and meet a completely different group of people but I was creating the same events over and over again. They were following you from place to place. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And the worst part is now is that I know that I'm creating it and I can't... Well, that's the best part. <laughs> I, I know it's the best because, part. Because if you know you're doing it, then you have control about it. Yes. So it's far better to know that you created it rather than some god who's mad at you. Yeah. Well, no. I, I know that I know it now, but now, now my work is working on it and it's really difficult. People's first impressions of me are, are that they don't like me and I don't know why. Um, I think they're off put by me for some reason. and. Um, Here's something that's really interesting, and it's something that most people are unaware of, that wherever you've got your radio, radio dial set, that's what's going to come back to you. So if you've got it in your head, for whatever reason, probably from validation from other people, that they're not really receptive to you, as you notice that they're not, then they're not, and as they're not, you notice that they're not, and then they're not, and then you notice that they're not, and then they're not. So it's like you, you create the scenario, different places, different faces, but the same sort of experience keeps occurring. So. What you're feeling and what you're thinking is what you keep getting more of. And so you want to figure out how to break that cycle. It's logical that once you've decided, as, as you spoke rather clearly, that people are sort of off put by you or put off by you, then those are the people that you most have access to. So let's just say that people are running around and they're on all different vibrational wavelengths. Where you are vibrationally is so where you are vibrationally is so where you are that your most satisfying communication is with other people that are right there where you are. So let's say that you could be in this high-flying, really good vibrational vortexual place, and you could end up at one of those hostels with someone who's really in a, or, or let's say that it's something even, even close to that. So you're here and they're here. What's happening is, at unconscious levels, they are doing everything in their power in their quest to communicate, to get you to come to where they are because there's no communication, there's no experience. And so, without meaning to, they, they would like you to be there, but it's happening even on unconscious levels. And if you're not really caring about how you feel, you'll go there easily. And when you go there, it's not their disapproval of you that you're feeling, it's your lack of resonance with who you really are that you're feeling. Did you get that? Oh. People have been saying things for a while like, well, they're just trying to bring you down to, to their level. Well, they are. They are. They don't mean it, but they're just trying to... That's what... So they see someone like you. You look as if everything in the... You, your appearance is one, and we're not just talking about the beauty of who you are physically. We're talking about your vibrational appearance. You have knowledge. You have, you have eagerness. You have a, a desire to fulfill your life experience. You are radiating. In other words, you are unmistakable. You are radiating, and you are a pain in the whatever to people who aren't there, who want to be there. In other words, what bothers them about you is that you live what they want to live, and they don't know what to do about it. So they offer a vibration. They offer the vibration of where they are, and, and at unconscious levels, really are wanting you to join them there. And because you are compliant with that, when you join them there, then it's your disconnection is too strong a word, but it's the putting the light over the bushel, over the light of who you are, that makes you feel that discomfort. It's not their approval or disapproval of them that you've ever been seeking. 
it's your own alignment. So the question that we're hearing from you is, how can I consistently, because you say you're often there and you are, how can I consistently feel all that I am and be all that I am? Because I want, and this is what you want, this is the question that we heard from you, regardless of the words that you spoke. I want to travel for three months with my backpack, and I want to be so tuned into source that everywhere I rendezvous, I'm the one that brings them up. Yeah. I want to bring them up rather than them bring me down. And, and be stable. And the way you do it is first by understanding the way these laws work. Next, by understanding that you have two vibrational vantage points, which you do. Next, by understanding that the way you feel is your indicator of how you're doing. And next, by just having enough exposure to enough people that eventually, and, not, I mean, and it happens frequently anyway, you feel yourself as the one who uplifted rather than as someone who was, who was diminished because there, there is not a more dominant vibration, there's a matching vibration. In other words, they couldn't bring you down if you didn't have a proclivity to go there. And the reason that you have a proclivity to go there is just out of habit of going there. Yeah. What's happening? You see, you've done that all your life. Everyone has. It's just never bothered you like it bothers you now because you've tasted the sweetness of the other. In other words, your standards are now higher. You're not willing to go there. Oh, and then there's other stuff. They talk drivel. They talk about unimportant things. They, they're just going on and on about things that are so not important. <laughs> In other words, there's so many more meaningful things that you could be talking about than the things that most people are talking about because they're not knowing what you're knowing. So when you relax and acknowledge that they're all where they are and it's perfect where they are and they're living the life that they're living and you are in complete rapturous adoration of whatever it is that they are living because it's all contributing to what you're putting into your vortex, then it all gets soft and you find yourself just loving them all even if they're not loving you. And oh, that... That's where freedom really breaks loose for you, freedom of resistance, which is the only freedom that there ever is, is freedom from resistance. When you're able to love someone who isn't loving you, then they must come to your level if there is to be an interaction. Mm -hmm. They must come to your level if there is to be an interaction, which means if you're steadily here, they can't show up at the same hostel with you because one who's connected to this stream, one who's in this vibrational place, is more powerful than millions who are not, you see. And you know every bit of that. That's what's yes. been bugging you about this. You know that. Yeah, uh, so now my big issues, and I know all of this, and now I'm kind of stuck, or I was stuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it feels, it, feels, it feels stuck in any moment that you're not being who you are, except you have the knowledge to know that there's no such thing as stuck. That's why you corrected your statement so easily. Okay. And now, don't you feel completely different than you felt when you first <laughs> were talking? I mean, that understanding it, doesn't it, make, doesn't it help? So, so now, if you were just coming to the chair now, and you were wanting to have this conversation, how would it sound now? I like being who I am, and often I am, and I want to be who I really am more often. And I want to attract people that are on my same and vibrational wave. And how would I know that I'm not being, how would I know the sweetness of being who I am if I never had a moment of not being who I am? How and would I know? How could I discern? And so isn't it all good? Yes, and I realize that. And, and why do I want to attract people on my wavelength? Now, this we want to talk about this. Why do you want to attract people on your wavelength? We're going to answer it for you. Because it's evidence of my alignment, which is what I really want. Let's get that in the proper perspective. Because some might say, I want to attract people on my wavelength because it feels better when it happens. But I want to attract people on my wavelength because I want to be on my wavelength. That's why. It's my wavelength that is the operative word here, not the attraction of others that confirm it and compound it and enhance it and affirm it. I want to be on my wavelength because nothing else is satisfactory to me. Nothing else is tolerable to me. I don't want to be in a moment out here on the leading edge without my inner being there. I want to be tuned into who I am so that when they show up at the party, they're tuned into who they are because that's the party I want to go to. Right? Yes. Really good. Really, really good. Perfect, thank you.
if you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. different look, different hair, make sure you feel comfortable in that body because it's your way of getting around and it's a way of expressing your inner being. But at the same time, don't let it become you. Don't worry so much about what other people think of your appearance and if you look better than someone else or vice versa. Because in the end, we're all the same. We're all divine beings. We're all souls. I mean, we're not the car, so don't forget that. I could easily be sitting here right now and letting many negative things get to me and I could let them, you know, take power and take control, but thought is very powerful. Energy is very powerful and so is thought. Thought is energy. All in all, thought creates reality. So all those things that are making you feel bad, all those people in your life that are taking you down, let it go. Because all in all, what is it doing? What is it doing? Honestly. You don't need those people in your life. If they're making you feel bad, what is the point of having them there? You don't need that.
We will certainly take time to focus on what we believe to be the more critical and important point, and that is getting in touch with your true selves, for if you do not allow yourselves to be who you really are, you're not home. We come knocking on the door and you're not there. You're off somewhere looking for who you think you're supposed to be, and there is no answer at the door. It's, it's our life. It's my life. It's your life. We can be whatever we want to be, and we can choose to do whatever we want to do, and nothing can stop us. We have the power to do whatever we want, and don't let anything discourage you. I don't care how poor you are. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care where you think you are in life. If you're not happy, it just means that you haven't found where you belong yet. If you're happy, Hey, it's a place you belong, there's nothing wrong with that. But just never give up on hope because it will never give up on you. You will find your place and you can be happy too and you can do whatever you want. Just stay positive and just support others and let them support you because... To us, this is really the most important, that you yourself have more and more interaction with your true self, with your core being with your essential spirituality and consciousness by changing that frequency, by accelerating it, by stepping it up through the method of being more yourself, getting closer in alignment to your true core vibration, you will create a reality that makes it more likely and more probable and more possible for any other being that operates on a similar level to be able to interact with each and every one of you individually and collectively. It's all experience. It all puts us through the experience. It's not necessarily... We need to know this. We need to know this for a test. I just want to be me. I just want to discover myself. We urge you to discover who you are and live in the present. And just live life every day. To me, that's the best thing I can absolutely do. A random thought occurred to me. I am so excited for life, yet at the same time, I am shaking in my boots. But first and foremost, the people you must meet, you must come into contact with, are those portions of your consciousness been suppressed within you and have become disguised in the idea of fear, in the idea of denial, in the idea of all of these fragmentations that have occurred in your consciousness. Your belief in yourselves is the only thing that will make a difference and create an ability for you to see for yourselves that you really are unlimited beings in the way that you were fashioned to be. Each step we take in life is full of danger. You can't keep living in fear forever or else you won't ever live. You would always wonder what if. What if? I'd rather do something wrong and learn from my mistake than wonder what if I took that chance? What if I did this? So. I'm going to live my dream to my fullest extent and be the happiest person I can be. What's so wrong with that? For there is nothing unspiritual about physicality. It all depends on how you use it. One of the greatest acts of spirituality that you can possibly achieve is to simply live your physical life to the fullest that you can. And just live life every day. To me, that's the best thing I can absolutely do. We want our independence, and we want to be able to do what we want. We want to be able to have the freedom to make our own choices. But right now, it just kind of occurred to me, I can get through it, right? It seems impossible, but that's because we haven't gone through it. That's because we haven't experienced it yet. It's always going to seem like that to everybody. I mean, our parents, our friends, whether they know it or not, whether they think it or not, they're scared. I'm scared. It's, it's going to happen. But our experiences will guide us, and we just have to keep it going step by step. We can't fear life because we will always wonder what if. An idea. Resilient, highly contagious. Once an idea is taken hold, it becomes
<laughs> no. This way. This way. Because she broke the camper and everything. Yeah. I, I hear her speaking out of the window. Move away from us. Oh, you tell them the fence which things again. She's there. She's a liar. She's like a garbage cat. I want her to move. I don't care. I don't care about she She's a liar. She's a bad baby. She's a liar. We don't flash, we flush. <laughs> 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 